right, folks, I'm here with ASAP Tree Service again. We're not too, too far from uh, where we removed them bees out of the trees last time. We got Donald up here. Bees are in a knot right here, okay? The little skinny limb, he's gonna cut the limb over here, and then they're gonna rope that and uh, cut this and, and pull it down like we did last time. And I'll do the removal, you know, on the ground somewhere over there. We'll pick a spot. Get a little close if you can, there you go. All right, that's good, that'll do it. All right, getting down to business. About to lower the limb that's got bees in it. Can if you want. I'm asking you, can you go oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, go turn. Wait, oh. wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the the end. Uh, I did cut into a little bit of old honeycomb. So there's not much. Maybe I, I probably went about six inches, seven inches, a little bit too far in. My bad. But I, I did roll them up, but uh, I don't think I killed too many bees, if any, really. But uh, so I pulled, you know, what went down in this piece right here. So see what I mean? It kind of bottoms out right there. So that's what we have to work with. So let's see, I guess the hive's gonna be, what is that, about maybe three feet long? Well, no, as it goes to this end. Yeah, so actually, 
So that's about, uh, I guess, five feet. All right, maybe a little bigger than I thought. You know, from on the ground, you know, the, you're looking at it, you think, okay, that's gonna be kinda in a little area like this. But, cause I'm, you know, I'm looking at the, the entire limb and it looked like it, it didn't look as, as big around as this. And it kinda tapers as it goes either way. And, uh, you know, it narrows. And uh, I was thinking that there's no way to, you know, that smaller, the smaller sections, you know, like, like this here, could have a hollow in it. I mean, you never know, but. So it's a little bigger than I thought. But. All right, I'm working them up a little bit, and hopefully uh, they stay nice and behaved <laughs> from this point on. But uh, let's get into it. This is where the combs are attached. This was the top of the of the hive, basically. And so these these combs were perpendicular to the ground, and they're horizontal. But I'm going to try to, you know use this cavity right here so i'm going to open it up like maybe here and here so that i can move in and detach them and work that way so that's the plan i'm going to be hanging first i'm going to be nice okay Not quite warm enough to be doing this, folks, but I mean, it's supposed to get 70 today, but I like it even warmer than that. But, you know, last night it was probably in the low 50s, high 40s. So they definitely react to that. All right. They yeah, make a cut, they get worked up, smoke them to keep them at bay. Once we open this thing up, I think they'll settle down quite a bit. But it's just getting to that point. <laughs>
this is a little bigger colony than I thought. Probably a little stronger than I thought too. We gotta get we gotta get some stuff out first. This this is gonna come out to pieces, but you know you have to establish a window. Oh, I see. What I thought was comb was just some dead tree, it looks like. I don't know if much of this is going to be usable. It's just going to come out. It's following some of this old part of the tree. I think it's going to come out. It's going to come out in bits and pieces down here. Maybe we'll get us a little window as we travel that way. I think we're going to get some some usable comb. Probably not much though. Not much with this. I don't believe. These guys have been waiting for me to give them some yelp, folks. Some honey. We finally got something to give them. Meal? Meal? I don't know if Folks, uh, let me show you what I'm up against here. See, there's uh, the core of the tree. See? The combs kind of undulates around the core. And I don't know how much musical comb we're going to have. You can see, you can really see it on this end, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is, I don't have any honeybee going with me. Uh, got to put it in the truck. And I think I'm going to go grab some. And I'm probably going to use the honeybee going to maybe run the bees out and then uh, you know get them going into the new. I think we're going to do it probably that way. Honey be going. paint a better picture for you so we have comb sections that are kind of like concave and they kind of wrap around this dead part of the tree whatever this is in the middle so we're picking away at it using the honeybee going running the bees towards the fore end we'll use whatever comb we can inevitably the idea is to get them out of the log into the nuke box see at this point we're making really good progress we've got a lot of uh, comb that wrapped around the dead core or whatever the heck you want to call it you know we get down to the nitty-gritty just a matter of uh, applying a little honeybee going some smoke and uh, running on the back and picking away at this thing and we will get it done folks
All right, folks, things are getting real now. You see I cut out a little strip that's adjacent to that big plug that's adjacent to the entrance. At some point, we need to pull that thing out. You can see we've been picking at this thing. It hasn't been pretty, but we are getting there, and we will achieve success. You see we're getting into the same thing on this end where the comb is actually around like the old core of the tree I guess. It's almost like coal. It's really weird. You know? That's what it kind of looks like. Anyway, let's uh alright, let's move along. Some of the, these combs are just weirdly configured because they wrap around like that core, like I said. It's just <laughs> you, know, you never know with trees. And that's why it's so hard to, to run them out of trees a lot of times too. 
you know, because there's all these little nooks and crannies that you don't even know about, you know. Unless you open the thing up, you, you really don't know. And running bees out of trees is very hit and miss at times. I've had uh, success where I ran them out of a tree, you know, and the queen came out and all that, and I've done some where, you know, I've smoked them and, and drilled holes and blah, 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 and uh, we just didn't get anywhere, you know what I mean? But, you know, my, my take is that the bees aren't bothering anybody, you know, just, just leave them alone. So, uh, and, of course, just to remind you, you know, when people call me, it's because, you know, the bees have to go for whatever reason, so with these calls and, uh, you know, we'll take them out of, you know, you name it. I mean, you look at my channel, all the different weird places I've removed bees from, and you know, you got to take them from those weird places and um, put them in a good place, you know, where they can forage and, uh, you know, be your. I'm going to feed these bees to some uh, fine, but, uh, you know, spring uh, <laughs> keeps wanting to back up a little bit. Uh, I was thinking next week it probably, even this weekend, it would probably be nice and warm, but, uh, you know, the temperatures are going to dip again, so, uh, uh, you know, that happens sometimes. I don't really mind it. I never complain about it being too cold down here, okay, because uh, it gets hot enough in the, winter, in the uh, summertime, so, <clears throat> anyway, I always welcome cool weather here. <laughs> Anybody that complains that it's too cold here, well, they, they just, they probably don't live here. <laughs> See, we just got that comb out, and then we got this big old thing, just like down there. It was, it was the same type of situation. Let's smoke them a little bit, try to get them off of this, and when we rock it, we don't switch anybody, you know? But you can see, for the most part, the bees are on the nuke, and there's some in there, too. But, uh, you know, they haven't accepted it fully yet. You know, they're wanting to, wanting to hang on, so... I mean, look at this thing. Look at this. You know, I guess it's the old core of the tree or something. I don't know. Somebody out there, y'all y'all know what this is. I'm sure there's a proper name for what this is. I don't really know what it is. I'm just calling it the old part of the old core of the tree, but you know, I could be dead wrong on that. Anyway. Uh, anybody out there knows what that's called, uh, feel free to chime in there. All right. Like one impact five. It's oh, like yeah, it's never like that with honeybees. They build comb oh. sections in individually. Okay. There's always two sides to the comb sections. Oh, okay. Man, yeah. those bees don't bite you? Uh, they stung me a little bit earlier, but I think it was due to the, the you know, the, the temperatures. Okay. You know, I like yeah. fooling with them when it's in at least the mid 70s. They, they're better in the heat or the cold? They, they're better in the heat because, you know, they're, they're insects. Okay. If you think about it, you know, an insect, you know, they only like it hot. <laughs> okay. You know? Wow, that's a lot of bees. Yeah, I, I was thinking they went in like a little section like about like this. But it's, it's more spread but this, out through the whole You know, looking at, the, looking at it from the ground, you know, you're like, okay, that's a little knot. But yeah, but then you didn't see that. You can't you see You get it, it on the ground, it's a little bigger than you think it is. All the way up. Yeah, what, what is it in that smoke? Uh, burlap, mainly. And really? I've been using some of these shavings and a little bit of your pine needles. I hope you don't okay. mind. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Whatever it takes. Smells good. Yeah, yeah. All right, I gotta get my groceries in. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll hot in a little bit. Oh, okay, that's just almost, almost about all the comb that's gonna come out of this thing, I think. Oh, we got one more of those little knots or whatever you wanna call them. and see if I can't fish that out it was moving. There we go. Should be good top. Just about got it folks, just about got it. Peace. That's it. Wait to pull it back. I think the queen is on the outside of my nuke, obviously, or it would have run her in already. Let's see what we got here.
I may have to show you the queen tomorrow, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah. My main objective right now is just to get them in the box, you know? All right, folks. It's been a couple of days since we removed the bees from the tree. You can see they're rocking and rolling. They're coming and going. They're bringing in pollen. So let's go ahead and pop the lid. And I'll see if I can't uh, show you what the queen looks like. Okay? Very content, as you can see. Alright, let me pop the top and see if we can't uh, show you what she looks like. Pull this frame here. Well, she's going to be either on this one or the next one. We know that. You see her? So I don't see her. On this side, I'm kind of getting attached to the comb up here. Just a couple of days. Pretty neat, huh? Alright, let's pick up this next one. I haven't used any smoke to get it worked up, I guess. She is gone, bless you, she's huge. Look at that. Y'all see her? Impressive. Wow. So beauty there, folks. Alright, we got our queen. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back down. Maybe I'll show you some progress in a couple days or so. Back this goes to show even a little colony like that, it's helpful sometimes to give them a little smoke. And I just got popped once in my hand and my finger, but I didn't use any smoke. And then putting the frames back, I just, you know what I see there's a bee that is in between the, the screen and the frame, so I could have maybe caused that. She's probably putting out a long term. Let me see if I can give an ice pick and I could probably poke that and push it back and she should be able to release herself, I think. Let me see if I can't push that frame. There we go. Alright. Go. <laughs> Big old queen though, folks. Big old queen. Well, folks, I sure hope y'all enjoyed this video. Another one from JP the B-Man. I'm having a fantastic day, and I hope you are too. Until the next one, stay tuned because lots more videos coming. Bye-bye.